everyone, it's Catherine. Today I wanted to do a book review for you on a book that I have really enjoyed. I read it this summer over my break and I just know that it will benefit you in your spiritual walk and in any witnessing you may come into. And I just really wanted to share this with you. This book is called Trustworthy and it's by Benjamin Shaw. Let's just take a moment to enjoy this cover. I just think that's a beautiful collage. I picked up this book because as you know, over the last four or five years, I've really been studying and learning. Um, it started with apologetics, but from there it's grown into a whole nother thing for me. But in that studying, I learned that I really enjoyed textural criticism. Don't let that word um, make you turn this video off. It is not negative. It is, um, they are scholars, textural critics, and you know, you usually see them working in like universities and stuff. And they, they're like detectives they examine the many manuscripts we have. We have a multitude. You wouldn't imagine how many there are out there. You'll learn about this, that in this book. And they evaluate the manuscripts against one another. They evaluate it with like historical data outside of the, the biblical works. They use archeology. span um, so there's, they really sit and examine and they try to prove or disprove that what we have is correct. Yeah. It is, by, it is, um, it's a shorter book, so don't be intimidated. <laughs> and um, it is um, by, it came out in July, just this July, and it came out from IVP um, Academic, which is the um, Introversity Press. Um, it is a Christian um, company. I don't, didn't really know a lot about Benjamin Shaw before reading this book, um, but I found his writing and his personality from his writing to be very, very fun. And I enjoyed reading this book. And he was a student under Gary Habermas, who I have followed um, for his work on the resurrection and proving the, the ability of the resur resurrection. And he's also the creator of the um, minimal facts approach. So if you don't know who Gary Habermas is, also look him up. Anyways, so the book has 13 chapters. Well, there's an introduction and then 13 chapters. And each chapter is a defense or an argument topic, whatever you want to call that, um, in his proving that the New Testament is reliable. How do the textural critics go about finding this evidence? Now, like I said, I've been doing a lot on my own before I read this book, things on like the creeds and um, authorship, dating, those are all things discussed in this book. And I will say that he, he's writing is very readable. It's not hard to read. Um, it's practical. It is something you could put to use. And most of all, it is easy to understand. So I really recommend this book for that. And there were a couple chapters that I was like really excited about. <laughs> one of, and I just wanted to point out what those few chapters were. The first one was about genre. And I never really thought about, well, what genre is the gospel? You know, like the gospel of Mark or Luke or what, it, what are the gospels? And I never really thought maybe biography. I just thought gospels were its own genre, <laughs> the gospel. And so that was really interesting. And then um, he, the next one I thought was interesting was non-Christian sources. So things like um, Josephus, of course, Josephus. 
<laughs> totally, you get on the screen and you forget all sorts of things. So yeah, those are really interesting. And then the non-canonical sources like Ignatius and Clement, you've probably heard these names. And um, those are really interesting because while they are, they are not part of the canon. And then I thought the chapter on the canon was really good how the, the people who were doing this, how they decided on which 66 books, you know, and how they decided on the order of the books. You know, I find that very, very interesting. And um, so that was, that, was, that was nice to have in there. So these are all things, you know, like archeology span is another one, historical writings, um, all sorts of kinds of things they use to to help prove that what we have is legit. And I just really thought the book was a clear, every person type writing a presentation on these things. And you can go away from this book feeling like you really learned something. And if someone were to come up to you and ask a question about the, the creation of the Bible or um, proving something, then you're going to have a little bit of, you know, learning to be able to respond. So I really recommend this book. I very much enjoyed it. I, you know, I don't give a lot of book five stars, but this one I did because I know I will be using it as a reference. And the fact that it was lots of good points written to where anybody can understand it and i just really am thankful that benjamin shaw made this book i i really enjoyed it again it's called trustworthy and his name is benjamin shaw and i highly recommend it all right